is Daf Yomi Lushami. In the article Oz by the Gahazi edition, we are starting the seventh, no, no, the seventh parak, and we are in Bemis on Samach Aleph Amud Aleph at the Mishnah Ma'abri Kavagaf and Bogets in the Vilna. We are on. Daf Lamed Aleph on the base, also at the Mishnah, and we start with a um, drawing in Reb Chaim for this Mishnah. There aren't much many drawings left. Wow, four more drawings. Okay, well this is a a a, 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 a runner. Mabrich, so get from this means you literally bend over like a knee and you put it back in the ground and you bring it up further down. And the question is something planted in the middle on top of where the root is running on the ground. What's the status? So, Mabrich, get from RX, you ain't off our garbage lotion. You don't have three talking of dirt above the roots. Loyabi Zerale, you can't plant seeds there. Feel the Bricha, but the last of the sea loan, even if you put that the root of the um. Of the uh, of the grapevine in a gourd, or in some in a wooden in a tube. I see a lot of modern Hebrew is a jet, uh, but uh, this is, presumably this is a tube, a wooden tube. Hebricha um, b'sela, uh, but if you put it underneath uh, stone, it's both. Even though there's only three fingers of dirt above it, then you're allowed to plant above that root. When you have that knee in a grapevine, you only measure from the uh, second uh, trunk. That's this picture over here. Right? You measure the, the, the four, four amos from out, out of here. Not from the main, by, main trunk, but from the new trunk. Lady uh, Zell out. It's not, you can't put, put plant directly. Says the Gemara, you, you you can't plant directly over it. I mean, it's samuta. Sounds like uh, to the side of it, it's permitted. Monica, what are you talking about? Imishum zroim be Elon. If we're talking about uh, regular kilaim zroim grain with a tree, lomli gefer. Why are we talking about a grape? But if you're sharing, you could call Elon. It's true about any tree. Imishum avoida. If we're talking about an issue of avoida, how far you have to distance. Nitne shisha. So it should have to be six tvachim, right? Just like six tvachim uh, horizontal, you have to distance. So to, why do not have to distance six tvachim vertical from the ground to where the root is below? El Rai Krevi Akiva, the Amash Lesha. Must you go to Krevi Akiva, say, Avoda of Gefen Yechidi. The distance, you have to distance yourself from uh, individual um, um, uh, Gefen. Is a few minutes side, Nisne Shlosha. So even from the side, it should be uh, uh, the um, it, it should be uh, uh, th- uh, three Tvachim. So I'm not sure why we have to say that over here, uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's side really doesn't matter to us here. It's not the duper of the Mishnah. Or maybe no. So I, the, actually, it looked at Reb Chaim. The idea is that it should also be not just have to be still it should have to be three tefachim up and also three tefachim across, or at least an angle of three tefachim. Why can you plant directly overhead three tefachim and not? So why can you plant? Why can you plant as long as it's not directly overhead, knee to the side? It should have to be three tefachim also sideways. Mm. I'm not sure that that makes sense, though. Okay, but that may get, uh, that is seems to be the quick question. Now, I want to go back for a moment and, and point out something which I had written down the side of my Gemara, but I didn't uh, uh, point, notice it, which is that w- w- if we're talking about stama tree with seeds, so the issue is uh, uh, that if it, that we're afraid the seed underground will uh, create roots and those will mesh somehow with the grapevine and get um, with the, with the tree, not with the grapevine, 
and uh, they're going to get into somehow into a root or even into a branch and create some sort of graft. Otherwise, it wouldn't be also because of Kiline. So, um, the, uh, but by grapevine, it's where the proximity is the issue. Um, okay, the, uh, so the, uh, um, so again, if it's to talk about with a tree and, and, and seeds, the issue would be a potential graft on the ground or perhaps along the ground. With a grapevine, the issue is an issue of proximity. Um, so, Rav Yerushim Echia Baraba said, Mishum Zroy Magabe Geffen. No, there is, it's talking about uh, seeds on top of a, uh, a, a, a grapevine. And uh, the, um, uh, you, you said before, when you had a previous parak, you're not allowed to create a trellis of a grapevine over seeds. Uh, the um, uh, uh, so here too, uh, at the um, uh, it's like creating a trellis, and as long as it's because of anything which lets be fachim is considered as if it's revealed, and therefore you can't create a trellis. You can't trellis over a grapevine. Um, so this is uh, the same thing as the trellis over. Here's the trellis under. Same principle. In other words. Just, uh, above as it would be above ground, below is below ground, and three tvachim below ground is considered to be like a reverse trellis vis-a-vis the seed. Um, uh, that, but that's only connected, like we saw before, you know, in, in the case of uh, the, the trellises that mean atzad could be mutter, and uh, the, um, also, and therefore it's, when it's inside a stone, but a, a, a stone, no matter how thin the, the the this the gap is still also considered to be um, uh, uh, separated, and therefore there's no this issue of mesachek agabe gefen in the reverse underground in that scenario. Talmud Tzinon, we learned in Baba Basra, second parak. Marchikin es azroim es amachresha. You have to listen seeds and plow 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 plowing uh, when you're planting seeds and when you're plowing the ground. As mayor grime and urine, but mean a cell from a wall three twachim. Rabbi Yermia Barchamba Machi Taman Atomer and a Shosh Malcolm in a sad. Now, the the uh, the uh, the uh, here it says Taman, the Taman here really means like often you saw me, Hacha, Khan. In other words, here we say that roots don't spread sideways, right? Um, uh, so therefore, you can plant immediately. To the side of your three twachim height, and there, yeah, there, v'hacha meaning v'abasa, adar mashuashim mihalchim min atzad. You say the roots do extend, and therefore you have to distance his roim three twachim from the wall, because otherwise the roots are going to extend towards the wall. Am Rabbi Yosef said, "Kam kan en ashuashim mihalchim min atzad." No, the roots of this roim do not go sideways, uh, and that's not the issue. But rather, the roots do grow downwards and and loosen the ground. They uh, they they crumble the ground, and that undermines the flooring. It was the foundation of the wall. You should know this is true. The near the one it says there in Barabasra, here there here there means there. Veiraglaim uh, talks about urine. Does the urine spread sideways? No, but it also took the, softens the ground, and that is uh, harmful to the wall. Hasi so usually means a question, but here it is uh, a a, a um, uh, uh, seems to be a um, uh, uh, support a raya. Same thing. It says there a plowshare. The plowshare doesn't extend sideways, so it must be that um, it must be that it's uh, that it, that the issue is because it makes a forty chach, and that happens even three chachim away. I saw Shari Torah Sisrael has a different gear, so he says Isamei Machresha ain't a melech's mitzvah. In other words, he's saying uh, yeah, he is talking, asking a question. It's not a right. It's a talking question, which with the Torah doesn't answer. I'm sure it does go sideways. It's okay, but it sounds. I think that I think actually the hasty here is from the Araya, and um, yeah, that's the way Reb Chaim learns it as well. 
I feel Bichu was last. It was she learned that last was learned that as a quote from the Mishnah. Obviously, uh, even if you put it through a um, a gourd or through a tube, um, so Hadar Teva was still Shacharis. That's talking about a um, uh, pottery tube. Uh, uh, I said wooden tube. I'm not sure what a wooden tube would be. I was so far, but if it's a leaden tube, ain't no tzarich. I should show him so talking about the mallet. But if it's a leaden tube, it's similar to the stone, and therefore you don't need to have um, um, uh, three talk on the top. It doesn't matter because it's uh, it's not gonna it's a mechitza which is not gonna break. It's, it's a barrier which is not gonna break. He bricha besela. That's uh, also a quote from the Mishnah. Hatayma ba'adin salma. That's it's a, 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 a strong stone. Um, it's not clear where the derivation with Salma is, but the word is, it means a strong stone, where the roots are not going to penetrate it. But by the name by a soft stone, so uh, it says, Mitaftafesi, the Chaim name of the Rosh brings down, Mitpachet, uh, Mitpachat. I'm not even sure to read that. But I have a side. Uh, I, I suggested mitpachatat. That's what it means. Anyway, it gets, it crumbles away, so therefore it's not a good half safe. Uh, and uh, this is uh, talking about uh, when the, um, uh, uh, you can't, uh, uh, the, uh, Mishnah, this new part, or going next part of the Mishnah. My rock is actually heavier here. Yeah, Hakuba Shemba Gavin Bukhule. Actually, ain't a Russian earring. So th- this is talking about where uh, the, uh, w- that which you measure from the second trunk is when all of the, um, when all of the, uh, um, the, the runner is buried in the ground. And uh, you can't, uh, see the top or the other, the, you can't see the, the where it goes into the ground. Because when you see where it goes in the ground, you have to give for six talking for where you see it going to the ground, and we have a picture for this. Um, okay, I'm not sure how much clearer this makes it. But if you have... It has to be like this, so you don't see it from here at all. And you measure from here, not from there. But if it's like this, let's say, so you'd have to measure from where it goes into the ground, six talking. Okay? It could be that way to, to explain the Mishnah, I understand the way Rukhaim is understanding the Gemara is to explain the Mishnah, is that when you made the runner, nothing is going above ground here anymore. Right? And that's why you count from here. You do from here. But I think you just say, it's similar to this case here, where the water goes into the ground and then comes up again. Then you have to go six fachim or four amas from here, and, or, and six fachim or four amas for where it went down into the ground. Um, okay. Um, or, uh, you should know this is true. It's near, but so we say afterwards, a marvish loshik fanim, uh, 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 we right near it. It talks about where you do three gefanim. And you can, this in the next, next Mishnah, we're going to have that, that uh, case. But we have already the last picture, the picture of that case, which you're going to see. The Mavrich, and both sides can be seen, right? Over here you can see it, and over here you can see it. So, the tiny Lord says, It's a question is, where the, what they, whether they comprise a Kerem or not. What they do if they are Karen. It's not we're going to obviously learn about that when we get to the Mishnah. Avo, Lina, Avoida, and that's what you should the Shishat Vachim the Khan. In terms of Avoida, of course, from wherever something is sprouting up and growing, you have to give six Vachim from there. And uh, I think that's the easiest plot we've had in Kilayim so far. So that brings us, of course, to. Uh, I'm at the base. At the top. Yes, some pictures here, but they don't seem to be things we need to see. Yeah, this is the whole place.